Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here today to talk about the books that I want to read for Victober this year. So Victober is a month-long readathon that takes place in October, obviously. It's all about just reading Victorian books. So Victorian books are any books that were published while Queen Victoria was on the throne in England. It's like British literature of that time. There are four challenges of which I am hoping to fulfil three because... I'm just not the best human. And then there's a group read which I'm also hoping to get to. So the first one is the group read and it is The Importance of Being Earnest and A Woman of No Importance, both by Oscar Wilde. So this is actually fulfilling one of the other challenges which is to reread a Victorian book. I've already read The Importance of Being Earnest which is a play but you know, we're counting it. I absolutely adore it. I think it's hilarious. So I'm really excited to reread this one and we're rereading it in the first two weeks. And then in the second two weeks, we're reading A Woman of No Importance, which I've never read. And, and I've always wanted to get back into Oscar Wilde's plays because I've not read one since I read The Importance of Being Ennis, which was when I was at uni. So that was quite a while ago. I have read Victory, Joy and Grace since and Lord Arthur Savile's Crime. So it's not like I haven't picked up any more Oscar Wilde, but I haven't picked up any of his plays and I really want to because I've only picked up one. So very excited for this. This fulfills the group read and the reread in a book. So I'm going to be getting to that one. The next one is to read a book by a female author. Bonus points for if they are new to you. So I actually have two books for this and they are Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon and Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Now this is the one I really 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 want to read because obviously the movie version of this is coming out this Christmas and it has Timothy Chalamet in and anything with Timothy Chalamet in it is something that I'm 100% going to watch. So it would be quite nice to have read this <laughs> before I go and see it. This follows four sisters and their like hardships and all that sort of stuff. I do struggle with this because I know what happens because of Joey and Friends and I hate knowing spoilers for things <laughs> before I read them. So this might be a little bit of a difficulty but we're going to try. And then we have Lady Audley's Secret which I'm quite excited for because it's like a lesser known Victorian classic. I mean it's not on booktube but just like in general so I'm really excited for it and this is supposed to be scandal fiction which I've not really read much scandal fiction so I'm very excited for this one. This is about Lady Ardley who is young and beautiful and mysterious and it's like what's she hiding? What's she doing? Then we have the challenge to read a book that is under 250 pages or over 500 pages so I've picked over 500 pages and for that one I'm going to be reading The Tenant of Warfare Hall by Anne Bronte. So I've already read Agnes Grey by Bronte and really really enjoyed it. I mean she's only got two books but this is the one that I've always been most excited for because I know that this has a lot of like feminist themes but haven't picked it up yet so I'm really excited too. Also the book club that my mum is in I read in this for the month of October because there is a play being put on by a theatre in a town that's like the next town over from the one I live in. So they're going to be reading this book and then going and seeing the play. So I have tagged on. <laughs> I'm going to be reading the book and going and seeing the play with them. So that'll be super nice and I'm really excited for that. What I know about this is that we follow a woman who is in an abusive relationship with someone who is an alcoholic, I think, and she has a young son and I think it's about her trying to get out of that situation but you know I've not read it I don't know and then the challenge that I'm not going to be doing it is to read a book that was published in the same year as the book that is your favourite Victorian book I'm not going to be doing this one just because I'm trying to read the Victorian books that I've got on my shelves and none of them were published in the same year as Wuthering Heights if I have time I will try and look one up it's just one of those where like I'm already reading quite a lot of books like I already know it's going to be a stretch if I can read all of them because I have another book that I've not mentioned yet and it's even harder because they're like lesser known books and books that aren't as popular which you can normally only get through Amazon and I don't have a kindle because I don't like kindles and I don't like reading on like anything that's like a technology device I just it's not my jam so I know that I will struggle with that challenge so it might be that I try and do it but I'm guessing that I won't so yeah there's that one and then the other book that I'm hoping to read that I'm very excited for is The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy so last year I did a try a chapter tag for Victober and I read a chapter of this and I also read a chapter of Two on a Tower by Thomas Hardy and I ended up reading Two on a Tower for Victober last year because I just got really hooked on it and I wanted like a more romancy type book but this sounded amazing so from the first chapter of this book 
what happens is a man is drinking in a pub and his wife and his child are there and he's basically drinking and being all like big mouth braggy guy and he's like you can buy my wife and my child take them off my hands they're well annoying being really stupid don't say that because if it happens we're gonna leave and he just carries on being a drunk idiot and she ends up getting bought by someone and her and the child are taken away so that's the first chapter of this and we go from there. I get a very Scarlet Letter kind of vibe from this book, like a man who's like pillar of society and his moral compass is questioned when a woman from his past comes back. It's very Scarlet Letter. So I'm really excited for this one and I definitely want to pick this one up. This will be my fourth Thomas Hardy. So yeah, they're all the books I'm hoping to get to for October. Um, that's pretty good for me because I don't think I'll read any more than that. I've picked more than that in other years and just not got to them because I know I won't. So at least with these, I'm giving myself a fighting chance. So we'll see how many I end up reading, but I'm excited for it. If you are taking part in Victoria, please let me know down below what you are planning to read. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!